Volcanoes are some of the most fascinating natural phenomena on Earth. The glowing liquid rock coming out of the interior of our planet is just mesmerizing. And also dangerous, depending on the type of eruption and the proximity to people and infrastructure. While you are watching this video, there are probably about 20 volcanoes in the world erupting right now. Every year there are about 70 volcanic eruptions on Earth. This is an erupting volcano in Iceland on the Reykjanes Peninsula. During the eruption, this volcanic cone formed. It is quite small, a few tens of meters in height. And here we see a very big volcano, Mauna Kea in Hawaii, which rises over 4000 meters above sea level. And on its slopes we see several small volcanic cones, a bit similar to the cone we saw before in Iceland. Now, is this one volcano? or several volcanoes? What exactly is a volcano? A volcano is any landform created by the effusion and solidification of lava. So the cone in Iceland with its lava flows is a volcano and also Mauna Kea is a volcano. We differentiate between volcanoes that only erupt once, so-called monogenetic volcanoes, and volcanoes that erupt several times, polygenetic volcanoes. The volcano in Iceland is monogenetic. After the eruption is over, this cone will never erupt again. Mauna Kea, on the other hand, is a polygenetic volcano. It erupted countless of times over hundreds of thousands of years. This accumulation of solidified lava led to the formation of a big volcanic edifice. All the big volcanoes in the world are polygenetic and were built over many eruptions. The cones we see on the slopes of Mauna Kea formed during some of its last eruptions so far. You could now argue that these cones are several individual volcanoes on top of Mauna Kea volcano or you could just call the entire mountain one big volcano. As you see now, Monogenetic volcanoes have only short lifespans as they only erupt once. Therefore, they cannot build a high volcanic edifice. Polygenetic volcanoes, on the other hand, have longer lifespans and can build high edifices. Now that we have established what a volcano is, let's dive deeper into their lifespans and explore how old a volcano can become. We'll do that in the next video. But before that, let me know in the comments on which volcanoes you have been so far.